Hey guys, if any of you have been paying attention to Russian operations in Ukraine, you might have seen a Ka-52 helicopter of theirs firing rockets up the sky. Online, I see a lot of people claiming it's because they're scared, they're dumping their ammunition to try and lie to their commanding officer, or it's a useless indirect fire technique that won't remotely hit anything. This couldn't be further from the truth. This technique is known as lofting, or throwing rockets. Some people call it indirect fire. The technique is quite simple, actually. There is no computer CCIP point. Your cheval can't be used to lock their position while you fire or anything like that. Maybe if they're close enough, you could use it. But in DCS's COP50, this would only give you a CCIP point to aim directly at. Correctly lofting rockets is simply knowing what attitude to place the helicopter at a certain distance in order to hit the target's general vicinity at a distance safe from SAM or MENPAS. The way it works is that rockets have a consistent speed and if you did a simple calculation, knowing certain information about the rocket, you could find the distance it would travel and where it would hit at the degree and height you fired from. In DCS, for the S8HE rockets, this comes out to about 11.5 kilometers at 45 degrees pitch. In Ukraine, we see Russian pilots actually using 30 degrees instead of the full 45, which wouldn't give them the maximum range its rockets could travel, but would be easier to fire more accurately and would put less strain on the aircraft, which would have an impact point of around 10.5 kilometers at 30 degrees. Knowing this information, we can use the PVI-800 navigational keypad to give us a waypoint to the target, if their coordinates are known. If you have a friendly Ka-50 in the area who spots their location, he can log on with Cheval and create a data link point, which he can then send you the coordinates through data link. In that case, Select the data link point and use Avris to select the waypoint which contains the coordinates and receive the heading and current distance. They also fire a little bit above, at, and below the 30 and 45 degree mark, which would allow them to draw a line where they want to provide fire support. Either way, once you have their position marked as coordinates, you can then approach from your desired angle. Follow the heading given to you while staying relatively low. Russian pilots in Ukraine use 30 degrees as it's easier to hit the correct bearing when you pitch up. Before you reach 10 and a half kilometers away from your target, select rockets, pitch up, and fire at and around 30 degrees, hopefully drawing a line of rockets as you do. If you want to utilize the maximum range your rockets can reach, at 11 and a half kilometers, fire at 45 degrees instead, drawing the same line. Make sure that before you fire the rockets, you have selected the burst length to either medium or long, depending on how many rockets you wish to toss. Also, make sure to switch to desired heading instead of desired tracking in order to get the immediate heading to your target. If we look at our F-10 map, we can see that the rockets landed in the general vicinity of the target, suppressing and hopefully causing some damage. In Ukraine, this causes suppression, panic, and disorientation of the enemy soldiers, which would stop their fire and allow ground forces to regain the upper hand in battle. In DCS, currently, rockets don't have any shrapnel modeled and don't affect AI units' morale or behavior. Hopefully soon, this and AI ground behavior could change and become more dynamic. Also, since Black Shark 3 is coming out soon, when that happens, make sure that your INS is properly aligned beforehand. As if you've been flying for a while, your rockets may be off by as much as a whole kilometer or more if unaligned. 